time. How about that fucking overlay, though? The overlay is by Todd M. It's so good. The world thereafter. So, um, I did stream earlier. I streamed Slay the Spire, and uh, I definitely didn't cheat. Definitely didn't save scum. I did. But it was still fun. I swear I'm gonna do a run of that game one day that I don't save scum. Just saying. Alright. <clears throat> Shall we begin with the save? No, we don't do that. That's silly. So last time on Tingle, I met the, um, conductor girl. I got the train force. And became, like, kind of a big deal in the world of trains. And I think what I need to do now is, is find train girl again. Even though Tingle's always... Looking for something. Quick, quick. <laughs> Cursor has been eliminated. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so. Let's see where... Maybe she's in there somewhere. Looking for the miners. Yep, there she is. So you did follow me, tights man. You have to show me proof of your train enthusiasm. The train force. There it is! The mark of the train nerd! The train force! Chances are, I will have forgotten 80% of the voices I did last time I streamed this. That means you. I am a true train nerd, yep. I know all about them. Look at this face, would, would it lie to you? They say your nose grows some when you lie. It's not true. Not for Tingle. His nose just grows. Like his... stool. Do you think green stool is normal for Tingle? Sorry, we're not doing the stool conversation again. We do this every day now. Okay, the train force! Mine at last! A and you! No, I can't. I'm sorry, but... It's good to meet a fellow train nerd. That doesn't mean we should be any more than that. I'll still take this, though. But I'm not done giving you presents. What do you mean you can't hold all this stuff? You can't carry it all. Have a Reptar coloring book. Okay, good good first guess. It's a passable gift. She's 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 of age. She ha look, she's got a job. She's like a conductor and stuff, and like she delivers mail and and things. Chat, they're just friends, I think. You know, there's a reason this game didn't come to the West. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. But they're friends. That's the way you gotta look at it. She it tingles just trying. Oh fuck, she doesn't like that. Oh, 
Oh, right, that was a one-level thing. You don't enjoy one-dimensional painting. Mm. I have to be a little bit more conscientious. Have uh, a secret boy. Remember when this game was a point-and-click adventure? It became four or five different things. Umbrella Leaf. It started as a point- oh, fuck. It's level one again. God damn it, I gotta pay more attention to the level. Don't read chat while you're trying to play video games. Alright, chat, that's it. You've been... tossed. I'm sorry, I, I can't- I can't do it. It is an exceedingly long game for being about Tingle. That's the thing I'm most surprised about. It kind of went through a bunch of different genres. And we're still going. Thanks. So, um, should we, like, team up? Yes. Right. Oh, I knew I could count on you. You know, I'm looking for one more miniature. There's supposed to be a secret place somewhere here in this railroad system. It's an old and dangerous place. Scary. I'll stay here and activate the H switch. Use my vehicle to get there. I know you could do it, tights man. Tingle can now ride in Azusa's vehicle. It's a harmless sentence, chat. Harmless. Please. The mountains are dangerous if you don't know them. Go home before you get hurt! So the greater goal here is that I need to get a picture of Tingle... ...for... ...the passport. Right? I think. Every time I hit that barricade... I'd like to let you know that you're all going to hell. Not just jail, but jail hell. All of us. Alright, let's find out. Where are we going? Switch seems stuck. Before you die. That's right. Keep my spot warm for me, please. Okay, I think I have to hit C first and then and then we're good. Azusa's got H. We all know hell is a state of mind. And you gotta ride a fine line between order and chaos if you want to avoid it. Right? That's what I've been told. Hello? This is Azusa. How can I help you? Switch. Leave it to me. I can operate this thing. What? Did that- what? I guess that's fine. Azusa's vehicle was capable of that. All along. Ultra Train A. This seems a bit trivial. Just, just bypass this whole section. But that was quick, at least.
What did you think of Solo? Uh, I thought it was a solid trailer for a movie I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> I say that as a Star Wars fan, I know I'm gonna go see it. I just don't like the idea of, of that character not being Harrison Ford. But it was a solid trailer, and as I said earlier during the card stream, Childish Landino looks cool. Has a... Take, get ready for your shot, but it has a bit of a Blade Runner feel to it. And, um... I don't know. It somewhat won me over. But... I think I'm losing... They need to really just... Listen. If I could tell Kathleen Kennedy... To do one thing, and she would listen. It would be... How about you don't set a release date for these movies, and you just let people make movies at their own pace? One every couple years, maybe. Then, maybe, I think we'd be in better shape. Or they could just stop. To be used only by authorized operators. Um... Vinny, for fuck's sake, sake, stop letting brand name influence what you're going to see. If it doesn't look good to you, all you're doing is enabling more mediocrity. But that's the thing. It didn't look- the trailer looked better than the brand name. It's the brand name that makes me not want to see it. Because it's not Harrison Ford. That's the thing. I get what you're saying. I- I definitely have that- listen. You're right. Doesn't mean I'm gonna pay for it. The Westworld trailer looks good, though. Very interested in Westworld Season 2. And, uh... I didn't see Cloverfield 3. I heard it wasn't that great. I'm gonna probably watch it. And what else? Uh, that was it. Okay. You found the Ultra Train Express! Wow! She didn't even say that, but that's fine. Finally! Hey, there was a train scene in the solo trailer. I'm so happy! I'm happy, but to tell you the truth, I found something I want even more. Uh, um, no. No? What? What do you- what? I have other gifts. M maybe you want a rupee statue? No. I don't enjoy things of that level anymore. Oh, there's level three items? Shit, we didn't even get to level three yet. I found something new that I want. Um... Well, I guess we're done here for now. want to set the proper size. It was getting a little clippy. Like, you know, Clippy the clip art companion. Alright, so there is a little bit of uh, progress made, but now I need to still get a picture. Some good quee quees there. Or is it bui bui? Or maybe it's hui hui. We took a vote. I don't think anyone still knows at this point still. Oh wait, no, I just need to use the balloon. I hope everyone's um you know I have a weird eye pain. I didn't know your eyeball could hurt. But it kinda does. It's not too bad. I'm probably just gonna lose it. Um but it's flu season. And, uh, I went to the supermarket today, and people were 
coughing and sneezing all over the place. So I just kind of like weaved in and out. I bobbed and weaved. Bobbed. Bobbed and weaved. Um, no, I'm definitely not dehydrated. I still need to figure out... You missed an item. Explain. Um, I, I may need a little bit of help here, actually. I don't really know where to go next. If anyone from chat, this is a request. A friendly request. If anyone knows, um, a good spot. For some hot tingling action, please let me know, okay? you defeated so the village I guess I could use the old man hint forgot about that fucker again his face kind of reminds me of Lavos like you know final Lavos form so I don't really like that very much The PC next to Azusa. I tried. I pressed it. Nothing happened. Oh my. Well... I will be departing soon as well. I'm looking for a fitting dance partner. I guess you and I will meet at the dance party. Do me a favor, when you see my dance partner, try not to cry too hard, yes? <laughs> uh, sorry, just a second, Twinks. I see, I see, ah! Uh, pointy head, long nose! I can't do a shaggy impression. Passionate beard, beauty spot. With that, I can make a pretty good sketch. Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's me, Solid Snake. Huh? Pointy head, huge nose, beard, and mole. I'm imagining him differently, but are you Tingle? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait a second. You. What kind of bogus info did you give me? Huh? What? I was totally honest! Well, it doesn't matter now that he's here. So, Mr. Tingle, I'm covering this event. Can I get a quick interview from you? Uh, test, test. Okay, let's, let's start. This, uh, gas apple tree turned out to be a monster. How was it? Was it a formidable opponent? No. Ah, I see, you must have been shocked. Well, I don't have any more time. Well, one final question, if you don't mind. Uh, my last question, I've been wondering uh, about this girl. Uh, be frank, is Iona your girlfriend? Yes. Well, that was very interesting. This will make a good article. Thanks for taking the time. Let's take your photo and wrap this up. Uh, you're a little too close. Say cheese. Uh, yeah. Could you come a little closer? There's your Kulimpa. Uh, right. Just a little closer. <laughs> huh? Careful there. Don't bump into my camera. Well, at least I got a picture. Thank you very much. Vinny, you did the bad ending. Wait, really? Do I actually have to reset? Ah, oh, shit.
Hang on. Hang on. You can redo this anyway. It's Japes. It's Japes. This just means you can't marry Iona. Well, hang on a minute. What if what if I want to marry Iona? Vinny, it's a tingle game. Good point. Now, there were a couple people that said it was bad end. It wasn't just like one japester. It wasn't a wacky funster. Okay. So now I have to... Hang on a minute, is there a way I can, like, lock my, uh... Lock down. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to lock... The, um... The DS screen. Because it was getting a little bit, uh... Every now and then I would, like, resize it by, a, like, a... Kind of like a millimeter, and then it would throw the graphics off a little bit. You didn't click the PC, you clicked the sign. I did click the PC as well. I clicked the PC and it said you must be qualified to operate the PC. Or something. Love push Lynn. Who's Lynn? The one with the buttons on her jacket? You've heard of Pink Eye, but have you heard of Stink Eye? Okay, you've heard of Stink Eye, but have you heard of the Fish Eye? Did you know it was worth 15 points? I think it was actually 10 points. Okay, there's the PC. You, you're right. When you're right, you're right. I guess I did click the sign that many times. Did I really not click the PC, though? That's weird. Alright. A glass pendulum. Possibly the owner's initials. Helmets are lined up on top. It seems to be some kind of specialized mechanism. You can't figure out how it works. You must sacrifice a lizard to the lizard god. That's what that looks like to me. The buttons kind of work. Kind of. There was a game yesterday that I played where you sacrificed a lizard to a lizard god. Just an FYI. Couple people got it. Couple people got it. That was the best game of yesterday. Yesterday was a mix of painful and boring. This is why we must do corruptions every week. <laughs> they never disappoint. No, it was good. There was some good trash. I, ge I genuinely enjoyed most of the Sunday stream for its badness. It's just some of it was a little boring. Uh, let's not talk about the tea room. We don't want to talk about that. Hey, mister. We finally got your proof of employment. We have to show it to Bariki and Lion. Let's go see them.
I just wish I could have taken the pizza out of the oven. Someone in chat said that, um, again, this is someone in chat, so I, I don't know how true this is, but someone said that it was a Windows incompatibility that didn't allow me to take the pizza out of the oven. Okay, so I already read this last stream. Nice little clipping on the side there. This guy's got the stink eye. Let me tell you something. If you want to know what the stink eye is, just wait for the stink eye animation. There it is. Holy shit. Dude is rapid fire stinking daggers at me. Bariki was counting chickens. In my mind, I thought Bariki was over here with the other Rothots. But no. Now I remember. I also have to find that newspaper. The newspaper will be proof that I am who I say I am. Oh boy, you've been such a help. I read this already too. All right, here you go. I'm sorry, sir. So yeah, now I have to find where the newspaper is. Wee wee. Wee wee. I think it's here. Yep, yeah, it's right here. Self-published newspaper. 50 rupees. Seems different from the one you have. Take this one to replace the one you have now. Alternate dimension newspaper. I can't believe this game has fucking time travel. That is a very accurate picture of Tingle. It's, it's so much better. Hero caught on camera. The news team was able to reach the man who became a hero during the Gas Apple incident. When asked about his fight with the monstrous tree, he said, I eat shrubbery like that for breakfast. Straightened his chubby form. When asked about his involvement with the village beauty Iona, he replied, She is very important to me. Hinting at a deep, possibly romantic connection between the two. She's going to murder Tingle. She's going to straight up slit his throat when she reads that newspaper. I wonder if Ice Cream Clown is still selling ice cream. I mean, I know it's a, like a mob boss, but maybe, you know. Still selling some ice cream on the side. Hi there. Do you want a wafer? I see. For you, only 50 rupees. Mm, Alright. Anyone want to buy some ice cream? Do you know how smelly spandex is? The first season of Star Trek The Next Generation, the uniforms were made of spandex. They were onesies. And uh, by season... three, they had to change them to a different material because they were, they were so smelly.
So I know Tingle's in tights, but I'm wondering if they're like spandex tights. That, that's really where I was going with that. The uniforms looked so much better in Season 3 anyway. 3 to 7. You red cracked? No, I, I just have... I have way too much space in my brain devoted to Star Trek The Next Generation trivia. I've watched probably more documentaries on that than I should have. It was a mistake. It was a mistake, yeah? There's also a book. Uh, there's a, a calendar, like 365 days of TNG or something. It's this massive trivia book. It's everything. Why do I think about this stuff? Because I was looking at Tingle, I was wondering if he was smelly. Welcome. Please have a look. Have you got level threes? No level threes yet. Nope. I'm gonna buy a couple things just for, uh, the case that I need. That I need to romance. If you wonder why my memory is so bad, it's just because most of it's TNG trivia. It's just... empty space. Doll's doll. What are your thoughts on, on Janeway? Um, shrill at times. But... Inconsistent. Um, sometimes she was like Kirk and she just didn't give a fuck. Other times she was very diplomatic like Picard. But I... I didn't really care for Voyager a whole lot. But I, I actually thought Janeway had some great episodes. And, um... Kate Mulgrew is a great actress. I just didn't care for the series very much. Um, yeah. I, I feel like the, if the writing was a little bit stronger, and they weren't spread so thin trying to make DS9 and TNG movies, Voyager would have been a better show. That's my answer to your question. In a roundabout way. Oh, hello. Do you want to see Wee Wee's picture again? Nope. If you manage to get work, you'll get proof of employment. Get proof for everyone in your party. If you can do that, I'll give you my stamp. Oh, good. We gotta do this again. Wee Wee's picture. Why do you keep trying to show me Wee Wee's picture? I don't want to see it. Fuck. Vinny, did you watch Altered Carbon? No. You already have an application for I, someone said, uh, did you watch Altered Carbon? It's like Blade Runner, but bad. And that's what I've heard over and over and over again. So, I'm probably not gonna watch it. Here you go. Proof of employment. Present your proof of employment at the other window. God damn it! You don't play a game for three days, and you forget it, but somehow you remember that the spandex smells on TNG. <sighs> what do you think Worf's ridges smell like? Alright, listen. Hello, sir. Looks like you found work. The application form is in order, too. I'll give you my stamp. The application form is now complete. Take the form to your window, to the window to your right. Don't forget your passport photo. Oh, I've got that. Finally, we can get out of this fresh hell. Wait, wait, wait. So, you've got two stamps. That's for the portrait wait, wait. picture. 
I see this is a newspaper clipping. I guess I can accept that it's a photo. Well done. I shall issue you a passport. Safe journey. <laughs> Who would win in a trek off you or Mike Stoklaza? Mike would almost certainly win. But I can hold my own for a little bit, I'd say. Just a little bit. Hey, we finally got a passport! Hey, you guys. So you finally got your passport? Yep, we did! Now we're gonna ride the ferry! This is gonna be fun! I'm sure it will be. So that medal you showed me earlier... Does it belong to you, Mr. Doll? <laughs> That's right! I got the sweet medal from my auntie! Uh, the meme, 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 meme! The meme! The metal! <laughs> the boy who stole the metal. He fled to the east side. Let us hurry over there. Hey, let's go! Hey, doll boy, your friends just left. Wait! The meme thief, huh? Clown, why didn't you stop him? Seaside rendezvous. This. Now listen to me. No, my medal! Stop it. Listen or I'll drop this. For this medal, a guy on a horse offered me 100 trillion rupees. I can buy and sell you for less. Wow! 100 trillion rupees? So much money. Be quiet. I don't really need all that money, see? But I can't get what I want with my allowance alone. Hurry up, get it, or the metal takes a bath. Got it, got it. Calm down, boy. Hey, Tingle, it looks like you want something. Pariki and me are gonna keep watch here. You go look for the thing he wants. What? What do you mean? An unprepared approach may be dangerous. Best to give in to the boys' demands. Kids like toys. Right? Cool toys. So hurry up and get him something, Dingle. The guy on the horse promised me 100 trillion million rupees if I steal the metal from you. If you don't get me what I want, I'll throw this into the sea. I know what he wants. It's the type of love only a clown can offer. Hi there, you want a wafer? For you only 50 rupees. It is just a wafer thin mint. Here you go, very tasty. Thanks, come again. I liked the clown better when he was just clown and not double agent, but that's just me. Oh, you brought something? Ah, what the? I, I, I don't want that. That's not right. It's something a boy might like, but what? Anyway, good luck finding it, Tingle. Hmm. Trying to get a toy.
get him the Lin mod. Okay. Do you think Wee Wee has any advice? How about you? What, do you... no? No. Hey. Hey. Got this toy as a prize. For eating so many ice cream wafers. If only I have one more ice cream wafer. Well, there you go. to get him the wafer before it melts. This whole time I've been wondering what the fuck you'd do with the wafer, and we finally found it. You know what's cool about this game? I can play it while I fidgy-foo. Because it's a point and click. I think Hootie and I are uh, possibly going to do a Link to the Past run, a randomizer run at some point. It's going to be a little lopsided because he knows the game really, really, really well, and he's very good at it. But we're going to discuss some rules so that it might be somewhat more even, so that either of us may have a chance to win. Could be fun. I might have to train. Yeah, I might have to train, but you know what? There's an interface. There's the, um... The thing with the map and the chest that you click, that I might look into, that might help. I forget the name of it. Is that... An ice cream wafer? This guy's had a different voice every single time. I ate a lot today already, but now that it's in front of me, I want to eat it. Hey, want to trade it for my robot? Kids love them. Maybe the straw one would like it. <laughs> Thanks, let's trade. Needing a lot of wafers today. Here it goes. My stomach. Looks like you could use a Tums festival. I think I ate too much. Take my advice, don't overeat on wafers. Take my advice. Thank you, but I am straw, so I don't eat. That was Kakashi's best line yet. But sir, it is only a wafer thin mint. Fuck off. Fuck off, I can't have any more. No, but sh sir, surely you can have this wafer thin mint. Or this one. That's a movie night right there. Definitely gonna be a movie night. A note has been pasted onto the poster. We're all out of toys. The campaign is over. Did you eat any more brownies today? No, but I went shopping and I bought pudding to make. Okay? It's a step down from brownies and I think it'll be good because it's gonna be less. So I could just have it one time and then, you know, I won't like over overdose on And I don't even really like pudding. I don't know why I bought it. What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, I am keeping optimally hydrated, however. So cheers to that. Got a bottle of Maker's Mark right over here for optimal... Optimal hydration. Yeah. 
That's just a bottle of water. Vinny, are you pregnant? I might be. I very well may be. I bought you a Labo. You make it with cardboard, and then you put the switch inside of it. And then your mom throws it out because it's cardboard, and it's just cluttering the house. And then the switch gets thrown out with it. That's... Oh boy, that's a Mecha Robo! Careful! You can have the metal for this. You've still got a lot to learn, boy. Granny! If it were me, I'd have snatched all the goodies. This is enough for me. You just don't get how cool Mecha Robos are, Granny. I guess it runs in the family. Those be DSLs. Did you see that the fairy's a duck? It went. <laughs> it's time to depart. We've got the metal. Let's hurry to the lighter. Sure would have liked getting some more stuff from you. Come visit any time. It went. Tingle's gonna love push on Granny. No, there's there's no more levels of love push. Relax, I treat my friends well. I won't come after you anymore. And I'll tell the same to my grandchild. Pew pew. I mean, pew pew. Time for Mecha Robo. The new Nintendo Ayabo. Robot kit. Sinister clown. I think deep down he's a Mr. Mime. Ah. The metal. You got it back, all right? Yes. Doll boy, listen closely. Yes? This metal is a terribly important thing. I know that. It is much, much more important than you know. Wearing this metal, it means you are a special person. Really? Really. So never let it go. Ever. Do you understand? Understood. Then that's okay. Listen up. Tights man and the others. That metal is a very special thing. Show it to someone in the city that looks like me. Then everybody will be very polite to you. So, I ask of you all, protect the metal. Leave it to me. This is all we need. No worries, right? Right, Tingle? Yes. <laughs> it went. That's the sign that the fairy's leaving. <laughs> hurry, get on the liner. Oh, no! Let's hurry, Tingle! Thanks, Miss Spall! Pwee pwee! Oh shit, wrong way. It was Chewbacca's medal that he never got. Do you remember when Chewbacca did the uh, ceremony? 
And when he got up there and he went, ah! Do you remember that? I hope that noise was worth it, because that's definitely waking up at least three or four neighbors. Have a look at you. Let's see. Oh, it looks like you've brought a passport this time. All right, and I'll open the gate. Your passport has been checked. Open the gate, please. Understood. Opening the gate. Probably not even close to the voice I did for this guy last time. It's like Bug Australian, or like it's a somewhat Scottish slash Australian. Wow, that's a boat! Those are cool graphics there, I like that. Sweet, it's so huge! The question is, is it a duck or a goose? Work photo forms. With all of these, you can pass the gate and continue your journey. Except there were commas in between those words. Guys, do you think... Do you think if I go on camera... With sunglasses and a goatee... Like Mr. D Mr. Disrespect... Do you think I can get... 500 that million viewers too? Okay, then I'm not gonna do it, because people are saying yes. I'm good. <laughs> oh no. V-V-Dub? No, no, he, well, V-Dub doesn't have a goatee. Mr. Disrespect. I like that. I like that. That's a good name for him. Him and Logan Jones can hang out. But no, he did get a... He broke Twitch, Mr. Disrespect. He disrespected the servers when he came back. Could you believe that? What if I become Mr. Disrespect? Because there's a doctor already. What if I become Mr.? You know, and I'll just claim to be an original character. Inside the Ting Liner riding the Great Ferry, Tingle and his friends have crossed the ocean. Having crossed the ocean, the ferry has finally arrived at a new harbor. And then... Mr. Respect. I'll just become Mr. Respect, and I'll just be chill. <laughs> Mr. Rude? I could do that. <laughs> I- I don't mean any disrespect, however. Wow! Is this the city already? <laughs> the announcement on the ferry said, It's still a little way to go by train. <laughs> Over there is the high-speed railway. So this is just all trains in this kingdom? <laughs> We can buy a ticket at the window there. The clerk is male, therefore. Only low amount of trouble expected for Tingle. <laughs> oh. I, I do give the, the developers a lot of credit for the visuals of this game. They're simple, but they're really nice. They're charming. Wrong. Be prepared for trouble. Who are you? 
My name is Great. I am a desert guide. Before going to the desert, you have to prepare. Uh, no thanks. We aren't interested. Going to the desert is a bad idea, right? Yes. Look, we've got no business walking around a desert. I have extensive knowledge of the desert. Be smart and make use of it. <laughs> what was that about? Did he just want to brag? <laughs> Piled up garbage. Insert vine sauce joke here. But no. Let's be real. I wouldn't want to disrespect the garbage. Ah! Jokes. Just one more shot of Baker's Mark. Please, just one more shot. Whoa, what's that? It looks fun! Oh, this place looks busy! Oh, fuck, we got crusty jugglers? Hey, wait a minute, I recognize that horse. Oh, you again! Where, uh, were we on the same boat? Hmm, what's that? Get in line for the counter? Huh, very amusing! I don't have a ticket yet. But I don't need to get in line. So I'm wasting some time watching the performer. Street performers are presenting their craft. Shit. Could not kill. The shutters are closed on this one. Time to queue up. All right, next, please. Huh? That late already? Well, I guess that's it. Hey, what about us? Seriously? Wow, what should we do if the teller won't help us? Teller won't pay attention to you. Do you want this pendulum? Mm. Akashi, you should probably like get away from. Please, it's okay, stay here and watch for a while. No. Oh, all right. I don't trust- I know who that is, I don't trust him. Even though that horse plays a killer accordion. Warning, here begins the desert. Do not enter. The iron fence won't budge. Street performer. Concurrent manipulation of multiple objects. However, judging by diff degree of difficulty, the horse playing a musical instrument wins. Talk to the horse. I don't know what you want me to do. industry sure did a fine job on this one. Ah, that was when Dr. G was younger. Not one of them respects the desert. They don't understand its greatness. Are we supposed to respect the desert? <laughs> Lean but muscular, restless and driven character. Well, I 
think we gotta show them the medal. Here I go! Take a look at this! Didn't work! Ta-da! Probably the last character I want to show the medal to. But no one cares. No one cares. I was told this medal would be life changing. Has closed already. I'm Zerev. Hey, it is I, Nimmy Step. Turn around, you, Mr. Nimmy Step. One express lane ticket. Certainly. Vinny, do you know if there's a Vine crew on Monster Hunter anymore? There is a Vine Saw squad, yes. Aha! Did you see that? Money and upbringing will get you anywhere. Well, I have to hurry. The express lane is always very crowded, you see. And you! He really seems to be... Nobility after all. Anyway, maybe the teller will see us now. Let's talk to the teller. Um, Sphinx. Great Sphinx. Uh, Dave Cap runs the other one that has space in it, according to Great Sphinx. We should find a way to make this uh, Monster Hunter crew thing a little bit more official. Maybe a paste bin, perhaps? Or... I could revive the steam group. I don't know. Oh, that metal. I was wrong about you. Let me help you. The juggler stopped. The fake juggler. <laughs> This is the power of the metal! The lady who gave you this must really be something! Mr. Tingle. Miss Bricky. Bricky. Mr. Lion. Mr. Kakashi. Hmm. Isn't Mr. Kakashi here? Don't tell me. Did he go to watch that clown again? He was fucking kidnapped is what happened. <sighs> Hold on, I'll get him. Hey, how long are you gonna... Uh, uh. Hey, Tingle Kakashi is gone! Please come back when your party is complete. Let's look for Kakashi right away!
Is your voice okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I kind of got used to the lion voice a bit. Crusty jugglers. Oh, wait, let me do that better. Crusty jugglers. Clown costume. Oh, sorry. It's a clown costume. It's been discarded along with some props. What's that? Do you think that clown? What do you think, Bricky? <laughs> Strands of straw detected all over costume. <laughs> Hoof print. Of a horse that got ready to leap. Tingle, what do we do? Oh. It's a number of crusty clowns in this game. The clown shed its skin like a snake. Remember, a clown's uniform isn't a separate thing. It's it's the it's part of their their being, their essence. They grow it. Like when you become like clownish, your skin starts to like molt into clown skin, and you shed once every couple years when the moon is wacky. Elden Hoke. What are you doing? Why, why are you spamming Elden Hoke? Isn't that the dude who was offered money to kill Kurt Cobain? El Duque. Golden Chatwood. Oh, okay. See you later. Guy's, guy's just spamming. <laughs> just, yeah. Anyway, don't worry about it. Yeah, there's a movie called Kurt and Courtney, if you're ever interested in some weird Nirvana conspiracy stuff that is just bizarre and very unprofessionally investigated. It's called Kurt and Courtney. It's a documentary from, I think, 1997 or 8, and it's, um, well, it's fucking weird. What's that? That small doll of yours? I'd rather talk about going to the desert together. How do we do that? Let's go together. He's the look of a man who always keeps his eye on the prize. Um. Hmm. Let's, let's talk again. Small doll of yours. I'd rather talk about going to the desert together. Can't love push. Vinny, Netflix has confirmed that Toad's mushroom is not a hat and it's part of his head. I did see that. That contradicts with the Super Show. But I, the Nintendo also, the first question they answered, Koizumi got a question, why does Mario have nipples but not a belly button? That was their first question for Koizumi's Q&A. Oh my god, that tingle. Oh, uh, I said Netflix instead of Nintendo. Someone, <laughs> someone said Netflix just above that, and I guess I, I minced my words. That happens from time to time. Um, 
the Netflix comment was, Vinny, did you know about, that there's a movie on Netflix about a clown who sheds his skin? And the answer is yes, it's called Clown, and I've, I've seen it. And I regret having watched that. Therefore, I would recommend it. You should watch a movie called Clown on Netflix. It's about a guy who becomes a clown that can't get rid of his clown makeup and outfit. Hang on, before I go into the desert, I, I mean, I was told I need a guide. And who be who better? What's better? Okay, well, never mind. Dude doesn't want to talk to me. So this is where you fight Baroth. Kakashi! Such a geek. Did they really flee this way? Now that Kakashi's out of my party, the only character that's speaking is Lion. The Netflix entertainment system is a good console, yes. Hey, did you see that? The horse! That guy's got Kakashi! Let's go! Wait. Calculating. The sunlight is very intense. Probability of Lion collapsing, 100%. I myself am heat resistant and won't dry out. Oh shit, the chat is gonna go mental about that one. Stop, don't get any closer. Or else you too will. Come back to save me, Bariki. Chance of you two surviving in the desert. Zero. Insufficient preparation and education. But, but, but. Repeat. Insufficient preparation and education. Tingle! What shall we do? We gotta go see the desert man. Desert man! Insufficient hydration. 40 ounces of hydration required. Desert man. Riding in his desert van. Oh, what's wrong? Weren't you going to the city? I see, I got it. You want to go to the desert? Aha, I see. Ha, ah, then you want me to be your guide. Okay, 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 just as I thought. You want me to guide you through the desert. To see the spectacle that is the wilderness. All right, let's begin right away. I'll go ahead, see you there. I'll infuse you with the spirit of the desert! He just loves the desert. This is like, it, it gives him... It gives him materials to build a house. He just gets very excited about about the preparation and stuff. You guys are slow. If we were in the desert already, you'd have died ten times by now. Listen up, survival training has begun. Such 
energy this person has. Listen, the desert is the land of death. Each year, lots of fools come here and keel over while looking for a thrill. However, the desert's one and only survival guide, I, great, am with you, so just relax. Because I love the desert. You can't take the desert from me. And if you don't watch out, I'll eat yours too. What? Hey, hey. Dessert? Oh. This guy's getting on my nerves. Calls himself great, but I don't trust him. I understand. Talk to me when you've made up your mind. Okay, are you ready to take on the desert? Got it. You guys are eager to help you stay alive in the desert. I'll teach you a survival technique. Form a line, everybody. Listen up. Listen well. In the desert, your fate is decided by alertness and tenacity. Hey, you there. The green guy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Answer this question. Besides alertness, what do you need in the desert? A fit body. I like sex appeal. <laughs> that is an option. Tenacity. That is correct. Hang on a minute. A minute. Hang on a minute. Sorry, I needed some Tums Festival. You know, it was just um, too much lion voice. You catch on quickly. Good. That in it. That's enough theory. Let's talk practice. After that, I'll let you enter the desert. Just a second. I just hid one of these. The print on his shirt! Is that a stag beetle? That's right! Star of the beetle world, the stag beetle. I've hidden a stag beetle somewhere. Find it and bring it here. What does this have to do with the desert? This guy's really wacky. Doesn't the stag beetle not even sell for all that much in Animal Crossing? Like, what's the, the high- was it the Hercules beetle that sells for the most? Something came flying out of the grass. Golden stag. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, well, I, I mean... This isn't a golden stag beetle. For I have got... Another girl. Sorry, just thinking beetle songs. If you want to, like, really... Infect yourself with a mind virus. Go listen to some of those er early Beatle albums. Regardless of whether or not you like the words or the songs, just the melodies just get stuck in your head for weeks. It's not my favorite period of that band, but they... I've watched enough Beatle tribute bands that I started getting into the early songs. Just... I used to film them at my old job, and uh, they would do all the early ones. And I would... I'd find myself humming them for like two weeks at a time. Couldn't sleep. It's too busy hearing them stupid songs. It's a bitch. You got the sniffles tonight? I do a little bit, yes. Thank you for noticing. In fact, actually opposite. How dare you notice that? There you are, Staggy! 
I'll take that back from you. Your tenacity and alertness are magnificent, you pass. Well then, let's head for the desert. Follow me. Temporary secretary is actually just a Paul McCartney solo tune. But yeah, that's the type of mind virus I'm talking about generally. Okay, everybody, welcome to the desert. I will now tell you some important facts. First of all, you take this. King of canteens. So one can hydrate. That is a canteen! It is a very important thing to have. Have a look at this. This shows you the canteen's contents. Even just walking around the desert depletes it. When the water levels drop to zero, you'll pass out. When you find an oasis, you can refill your canteen. Speaking of oasis and the Beatles, we're bigger than the fucking Beatles. Or oh, talk to me and I'll top you off. So keep an eye on your remaining water. I see. Uh, once the water's gone, so are we. That's right, well put. Finally, remember this, if nothing else. When you find a plant like the one here, get in its shadow and call for me. I'll make it your new base camp. I'll always stay in your base camp. In case you keel over, I'll retrieve you. That's all I can teach you. Take this note with all the info on it. Read this desert note well if you plan to survive. We're all set, Tingle. Let's go. Shit, it's depleting and quickly. That's why Pig must save me. Desert is semi-famous at the moment because of this uh, this particular part of the stream. Refill it away, so this is ask me, great, search for spring water, ring out runny nose. Ew. That's no cactus. That's the map guy. Maybe. No, it's just a cactus. Demon coin exchange. Walk to the right. What the fuck are you talking about, demon coin? The fuck? It's an RPG? Pickup boy appears. Wait a minute. That's the- that's the creep! That's- Why are you just as a condom? Tingle attacks. <laughs> what?! It's not effective at all. I picked this up. Picked up desert map. It's 150 rupees. Rupee. <laughs> I'll give you the map. I did not expect that in the slightest. Tingle's party won the fight. <laughs> what? Is there RPG mechanics now? Welcome. Our visit to the Oasis will be seven demon coins. Very well. Pardon me? Dear customer, I'm sorry, but to use this fountain once costs seven demon co Oh, that's bullshit. You suck. If you don't like a demon coin, you suck.
Yep. We got random battles. Roaming water appears. <laughs> what? The roaming water drifts away. Damn it, Lion, why you get scared? What do you want? Are you here to give me demon coins? No, really, that's great. I'll give you more time to collect them. I'll be waiting at the village entrance at night. There's a village, yes, the Liar tribe's village. It's at the far end of this desert. See you there, goodbye. Man, and here I was thinking we were almost at the city. This is certainly different. Cactet is getting angry. Cactet, it wasn't me attack. That's who is out of sync dance. Oh. So I guess I have to just keep getting random battles until I get demon coins. Which will allow me to then pass to the next area. Roaming water. Break. It's not effective at all. Oh, come on! effective at all. Huh. Okay, I know which one's out of sync. Yay! I did it. Looks like you were correct. Tingle's party won the fight. Four demon coins. So that's how this is gonna go. A bulky curtain made of steel. Weight approximately 500 weight units. Removal requires great amounts of power. If it's just going to be me doing this over and over again, I'm going to have a vomit fest live on stream. 
the world's first, Twitch's first vomit fest. First annual vomit fest. I don't think Lion is strong enough to, the, uh, to do this. Yeah. Let me drink some water before I try to move that. I'll faint from the effort otherwise. About 100 drops should do it. Oh, okay. Here I go! Oh. Wait a minute, that was a bad idea. Oh, are you looking for something? A while ago, a young man with a straw doll came by here on a white horse. Give me that. A column made of stone. Part of its top is painted blue. Gotta do it. Thank you, dear customer. They're like cactors. Currency of the desert is demon coins. Defeat monsters, get rid. Okay, good sign. Roaming water. Still haven't figured this out. Tingle used the canteen. It's not effective at all. Shit. Okay, so we don't know which, uh, which colors to do yet. That seems to be the main problem here. Try analyze. It's not a bad idea. Stone column with three faces carved into it. Apparently, it can be rotated. The lucky cobra appears. This is a potion seller. Memorize the sequence and win demon coins. One game is 20 drops of water. Play. Yellow, red. Blue. Yellow. Green. Yellow, red, blue, yellow, green. Yellow. Red. Blue. Yellow. Green. That's enough. What will the result be? Twenty-eight 
23 demon coin. So please. Desert egg. Big boulder. Come back to that. Um, how do you write on the map again? I don't want to fill it up completely. Oh, more lucky cobra. Yellow, red, blue, yellow, green. I wonder if there's only one pattern, because they just made too much else game. That was the wrong way to say that, but you know what I mean. They ran out of budget before they could add more patterns. Too much else game, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and slingshot it. No. Tingle uses empty bottle. It's not effective at all! Analyze. Oh, yeah. Well, next time. And then probably fishing rod is my next move. Okay. Well, this explains a lot. Blue, yellow, red. I don't know why, if I do it like that, I can remember it. Blue, yellow, red. Statue carrying a multicolored panel. Blue, yellow, red. Play the Splier, my favorite game at the moment. I don't know, I just wanted to say that. So yellow's in the right spot, it's just blue and red that need to change. Fray the Friar? I like that one. Flay- how about Flay the Friar? Purple. Green. Yellow. Red. Blue. Purple. Green. Yellow. Red. Blue.
Pgerb. That's what people spelled it out in chat as. Pgerb. Now that I have all these coins, I don't really need to be doing this. So how about that Skyrim stream the other night? That was definitely one of my favorite Skyrim streams yet, and we've had some fucking Skyrim streams. The game just keeps outdoing itself. It really is a wonderful thing. It's the- it's the perfect streaming game. It's the right amount of glitchy, entertaining, and fun. It's like... God damn. The Lin moment, it will definitely be remembered. I think my favorite moment of all the Skyrim streams was the, um, Vigilant of Stendar. Who shut up, he was like... He was like, I fight vampires. Demons, I especially don't like Dremora. As I had spawned a Dremora, and Serana shows up on screen. It's time for me to get more water, I think. Before I look for this other thing. Yeah, it's, it's water time. Have you seen the mannequin glitch on YouTube? No, I haven't, but I- I still... Like I said, my mannequin was just like a couple feet in the wrong direction. That- for that one time. Yeah, that first Skyrim compilation that South Park put together was... was pretty damn good. I'm excited for part two. I think part two could be even... even better. We're gonna have to censor the buttons, however. So that's why if you guys... okay, if you guys watch those videos on Full Sauce, be sure to timestamp your favorite moments. It help. it really, really helps. So if you're watching it... In the future, any video actually, anytime you're watching a full sauce video and you come across a number of good moments, just hit the timestamp. Just and leave a comment. It actually really, really fucking helps. And it gets better um, compilation videos as a result. It's a mummy, no doubt. Mummy Brett attacks. Um. In the dick. Not effective. <laughs> Male mummy child likely to attack. We appreciate the time stamping very much. I want you to know that. We- I- specifically, from me, I thank you. So you want us to do your work for you? No, not necessarily. Yes, actually, of course. But, um, we miss moments. People complain that there's always one or two things missing. And, uh, I figure if it's something that you like that much, then yeah, do the work for us. Monster, it just has some light wounds, yes? Maybe I forgot to put on sunscreen. That's why it's wrapped up like that, yes? Yes. Of course I knew that! <laughs> no way, it would be a walking dead body! Alright, here I go!
You have to trick the lion <laughs> into thinking it's not a dead body. That's really, really, really nice. Shit. Pubescent dead? It went from a, a, a mummy boy to <laughs> puberty. Is Tingle mining demon coins? They'll be worth something eventually. Until they're not. Is this- this is the correct order, right? I got it. It's blue, yellow, red. Yeah. Butt coin. Yes, butt coin is an excellent form of crypto. You know what the best part about butt coin is? You can pump and dump. And there's no risk! That might have been the most anti-Christian thing I've said on this stream, and I'm, I'd like to apologize. Was that pig burp? Pig burp. P G B R P. I was about to read that as player unknown's pig burp. Tablet with writing on it, the stone statue's trial. Once the statue's children have been arranged, touch the stone tablet. Touch the stone tablet. Wondering... Should I get the, um... I just hope... Kakashi's alright. Should I get some water first, or should I just... Say, uh... Never mind, there's more. Let me go! I'm on the straw boys! Be quiet and listen. Do as you're told. Write that letter to lure Tingle here. No way! I won't do it. I don't know how to write in the first place. I don't believe it. This stupid kid is driving me to desperation. Well, what can you do? I've gone so far already. Probably should get some water. Right quick. Skip the free water. 
the mummy up here. Oh, I get it. No, I didn't skip the free wall. I, I don't think, um, I think it was gone. I don't know if it comes back. Oh, it does come back. Okay. It wasn't gone? Oh, well. Damn it. It was still there when you left. Um... Mistakes were made. I made an error. If this were baseball, I'd be called a lousy bum! I watched, uh, what movie was it called? A Feudal and... A ridiculous gesture. It's a Netflix movie directed by David Wayne about the guy who founded National Lampoon, starring um, Hugs. What's his name? Um, he's well. He's not the main guy. Will Forte plays the main guy, and uh, the other guy is played by Harry Potter, General Hugs. Dom Domnanal Gleason. Domnanal. Be gone, bots. <sighs> what else? Uh, oh, yeah, and, uh, fucking, what's his name? Some, some dude plays Chevy, Chevy Chase in it. There's a lot of cocaine in the movie. Some dude plays Bill Murray. They go, uh, they do Animal House. They talk about Caddyshack. Um, SNL. Someone plays Gilda Radner. Anyway, it's actually a surprisingly decent movie. It's not great, but David Wayne's a pretty good director, and I, I really enjoyed it. And it kind of made me a little, uh, well, I'm not gonna ruin anything, but I'll just say... It was interesting and entertaining. And the dude who played Chevy Chase was surprisingly good. Um, what's his name? What the fuck is that dude's name? Hang on a second. A few. He was on the X-Files. He's, uh... Ah, whatever. I give up. I can't remember anyone's names anymore. I told you, just Star Trek trivia. Joel McHale, thank you. Desert Letter. So that's just the thing I watched recently that I enjoyed. Mr. Help, I've been kidnapped by a mysterious handsome stranger. Huh? The rough march. It pains my poor arms and legs. Come quickly! Before agony and solitude consume me entirely. I'm at the Liar Village at the end of the desert. Kakashi wrote this? He must be smarter than he looks. I wonder if it's really from Kakashi, though. We have to hurry and get to Liar Village. But, I mean, I'm headed there anyway. It's not like the letter was necessary. Oh, there's a safe pigu. Base camp has arrived, and so has Desert Man. Hey guys. You want to make this your base camp? Oh, got it. I'll wait here. Come here if you need to refill your water. I should probably stop here, actually. 
it's a little late. I think, uh, I think we've done two hours. So we'll, um, resume the story of Kakashi next time. I I'm, uh, I'm gonna be responsible. So cliffhanger it is. Until next time. A little tedious, this desert part, but I, I don't mind it so much. I, I just really like the game. I think it's a really creative and funny and interesting game. And and again, keeps going. I thought it was going to end so long ago. We just, we're just still going. Um, I actually like the characters, too. And the translation, the fan translation is really good. It's It's surprisingly good. All right, so let's get back to that in a day or two. And, uh, you know, let's check the art. You know, eh, you know. So where were we? Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Davido Pikachu, of course. So this is from HWD 405. Here's the true voice of Detective Pikachu. Um, by the way, again, if you missed it, I streamed for a couple hours earlier. So if you're looking for more stream, check the VOD. And you'll see that I streamed. It's not everyone's cup of tea, tea room, but uh, I streamed Slay the Spire, the card game. It was pretty good until I cheesed it, but it was fun. So that is bonus material, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Anyway, thanks for this wonderful DeVito Pikachu. Here's one from JWS51203. There's a lot of good games out at the moment. And it's Spyro with Terminal 7 and that big wonderful face from Corruptions the other day. It's, that spiral face has really become quite popular. Maybe we can have that <laughs> on a keychain at some point. From Shanghaika. Here's a Zusa from Tingle. Very cool. From Rocket Cat. Vine Key Charm. Double-sided acrylic. These are not for sale, only a sample style. I think that's pretty cool. You even got the um, Blade Runner Atari hat. That's what that was, by the way. That was a Blade Runner promotion. And um, they sent it to me. I was just like, oh, okay. Like, they were like, do you want it? I was like, yes. They were like, cool. And so I showed it. I threw it on Twitter. I threw it across the room. And that was good enough. I was like, yeah, great. I've, I've actually worn the hat a couple times. It's kind of nice. But, um... Anyway, I gave it to V-Dub, sadly. This is really cool, Rocket Cat, and um, if we do key charms in the future, maybe uh, send, send this over? We can do something with it. I like it. It makes sound, yeah, there's a speaker. Um, I've used the speaker a, like a couple times to surprise people like you can I, I played a couple japes on people playing sounds through the speaker they were like where is that coming from so that was fun anyway primal screen guy made this okay more cartoon network nostalgia give me a second Actually, <laughs> wow, that's good stuff. That is good stuff. Yeah, you you got it. There's nostalgia there. There's 
like creativity. I love it. Good job. Uh, from Ribbit. Fucking amateur, you let him get away. I ain't fucking clowning around anymore. Is that a stapler? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> He's got a stapler. Oh, no. What is he? Take it easy with that stapler, dude. From Lemon Line. Binyamatone. Yeah? Again, this is an old automaton. This has been with me for seven and a half years, and it just ran out of batteries again. Because if you leave it on, you know, the batteries will die. So I'm very, very sad about that. But it's recoverable. I'm sure they make, like, industrial strength, like, fucking Hitachi Wand-esque automatons at this point. But I've yet to purchase any of those. Here's one from Nothing But Sauce. Why is Mario's nose growing an onion? No, the battery's replaceable. I'm just saying it just this one is old and it dies quick and it doesn't get very loud. You know, so it's it's a very low um automaton. It kind of uh it had a little bit more power. It's a little crusty at this point. I feel like there's a better model available, you know? So like uh, K, as opposed to, let's say, if Deckard were a replicant. Every day, every, every day since the movie came out, I've been talking about Blade Runner. And every day before it came out, I talked about Blade Runner. God damn it. I just can't believe it was a good movie. This is a weird piece of art, by the way. Um, I'm just so, it's amazing. It was probably, like, how, how fucking crazy is it that you have a favorite movie and then it gets a sequel like 30 years later or so and then the sequel ends up being like better than the original how the fuck does that happen so you can imagine i'm like just a pig in shit when it comes to uh comes to that movie i don't know that's just my opinion and i'm like ready to judge the movie when i saw it i was ready to tear it apart i was ready to like not like it because I was going to like spit on the legacy of the first movie. And then it ended up being amazing. That's why I talk about it so much. Because it ended up being amazing. Not that I need to explain myself. But I don't know. Small things tend to annoy people. Um, okay. Where Whiskey made this. Explanation and comments. There's an old Russian cartoon based on the Winnie the Pooh fairy tale. They pronounce the name as Vinny, however. So that's why I made this. Uh, all right. That's cool. That looks good, too. From Joey1204. It's a very stylized and interesting drawing of me. I like it. Yeah. Nox Materi made this. This whole time, I was wearing cool cyberpunk gloves. And this was from the trash stream yesterday. Here's one from Brayden Whiteside. Excuse me, Braden Whiteside. From the makers of Vine Pant. <laughs> Except Vine Pant hasn't been used or anything like that. Not yet. When Bean Snort shows a bob. <laughs> when chat's virgin eyes are burned by nudity. It happens. Lately, the past like week, it's been real bad. I mean, some of it's been my fault, but some of it kind of just happened listen you can't show buttons on your stream anymore because that's that's worse than violence Vinny have you seen Razor Fist the Rage at Holics video on Blade Runner 2049 no but I'm going to assume that he hated it let's see knowing you let's see Yeah, it seems like a very edgy dude wearing sunglasses indoors. Um, huh. Yep. 
that's about what I expected. So I guess I should watch that and then not like the movie anymore, right? Speed from Long John 69. It's queef queef. Oh, that explains a lot. Thanks. Why does this tingle look a bit like like a Carl Pilkington? Like a sloshed Carl Pilkington. Just totally fucking destroyed. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. From Bengo Bongo 14. Here's, um, here's some cool vine shrooms. Bunch of different styles. I like it. I like the Waluigi shroom. Uh, from Shy Guy XXL. Animated bonus tingles are in comments. Uh, that might be a little busy for animated, so I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna use this one, and we won't do the animated, but that's a cool overlay. Uh, here's one from Ocarina. Cheeky Bariki. Oh, that's a good nickname, I like that. Was that loss? Was that what that is? Yeah, it looks like it. Good job. And you incorporated a meme. Uh, here's one from Mr. Orz Orzo. Skyrim Bunny Asando DLC coming soon. There you go. There you go. I can't wait. And it looks relatively PG, so it's, it's streamable. From the Heroic Diamond Kitty. Here's, um... Here's a little tingle. That nose, though. I'd say you actually decreased the size of the tingle nose. You did. But nice art. This one's from Zazka. At tingle. She sat on my face and broke my neck. Who? Whose butt is that? <laughs> what is going on? Good, good lord. No, it's, yeah, it's Bariki's butt. Just making sure, just making sure. From Telestrek, here's the straw boy himself with his straw metal. Oh, this is animated. It's very subtle. It's 3D Bariki, uh, sorry, 3D Kakashi with a metal. That's awesome. From Tiny Duck. Fuck off, I can't eat for I am straw. But Straw Boy, it's only a wafer thin mint. Note Straw Boy would never say the fuck word for he is a good boy. Okay. Alright. I'm like this close to being done with the word boy. It's not there yet. From X Case Kisio. You know what I mean? Like it could be you like straw boy is a, is a good use of it. It works. Nut boy. I like that. There's a number of other additions to the word boy that can sometimes feel a bit, well, I don't know, unnecessary. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, that's just me. My boy. That one's okay too. X Kisio made this one. The Mighty Beans. Buru is loading. To piggyback off of the Blade Runner thing, I just, the search here says, Blade Runner 2049 is bad and you should feel bad. That's a, you know, you, you're making a cool video when you tell people they should feel bad for liking something. That's awesome. Um, one of the comments here is, I guess I should kill myself for enjoying this movie a lot. So, uh, 
I should start doing that. Good content. That's that's the type of uh, that's the type of content we need. Bringing people together, really finding that common ground, really bringing us closer to each other. You know, from Alina D. Here's a new venture into the art world. I like it. Some crocheting. I think it's cute. Good job. Here's one from Reen. And uh, it's it's the crew. That's cool too. Really nicely done. Good art. Good style. Tingle. Well, I could always do without Tingle, but otherwise it's great. And here's the final one from Lemon Line. Maybe it's the final one. No, there's a little bit more. Um, I misspoke and said Netflix instead of Nintendo earlier, so here we are. Vinny, did you know that Netflix confirmed that Toad's head is actually his head? Wait a minute. Is that how it actually read? Did I read it as it was? Did they make the mistake and not me? It's like a plot twist. It's like a J.J. Abrams movie. The mystery box. No, you misread it. Okay, great. Never mind. The, it's a double jape. It's a double plot twist. The plot twist is I read it correctly all the... Uh, I misread it <laughs> the whole time. That's fucking... I guess I'm not the chosen one. From downright shoddy. Uh, this, um, yeah, so about that face for Wee Wee, uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I'm very conflicted about this. Very, very conflicted. The art is great, but I, I think I hate, I think I hate what I've become when I look at that. From Stella Bella, female. Just some analysis there. And from Amphibizzy, Jeff, Jeff, where are you? So this was from Corruptions last week. Corruptions, Lord, because I'm awful, the boys at the dorm tricked him by claiming Jeff had been waiting outside and walked away. Tony searched south and waited until the cold made him sleepy. He didn't want to miss him. It's just a prank, bro. Tony died that day. Tony died that day. Wow. I guess he watched that Blade Runner review. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I hope everybody had a good time watching Tingle as much as I had fun and streaming it. Um, today was an interesting day for it, to say the least. And, um, well, I hope I hope you have a good night. I'll, I'll probably see you soon with more Monster Hunter. And uh, I'd like to continue grinding away at Tingle. Ah, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have said it like that. I'd like to continue playing Tingle until I finish it so we can begin Subnautica. Um, I possibly missed the Whittler's art. Did I? Sonic Tapede. All right, well, I guess we're going to end with this then. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to end with this. As for other uh, quote-unquote content I'll be providing... I don't, I don't know. Some shit. Maybe we'll do another Fortnite slash PUBG stream because those, those seem to go over really well with the audience. It's like, I think 75 to 80% of the audience doesn't mind watching them, but there's, there's a couple, you know, outspoken few that are just like, I hate this, but I guess that's kind of the same for everything. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe. But I, yeah, I definitely am still very addicted to Monster Hunter, and uh, this is good because I'm playing games that I really enjoy, and it's rejuvenated my interest in streaming more frequently, and as a result, 
I guess you get more streams. Though I know, again, I, I do have um, some degree of, of self-awareness when it comes to overdoing games, you know, streaming a long time. I guess it kind of started with Binding of Isaac, where it's just like every day. But when that game came out, it was it was mental, you know. Uh, so, you know, I'll try to get some variety going. Uh, Resident Evil 7 DLC, I keep talking about. I think it's going to be this week for sure, actually. So I'm going to pick a day and we'll just knock it out. I've been looking forward to that. A lot of people have been looking forward to that. And um, I know Link's Awakening has been on the docket for a long ass time. Is it Zelda Overload, though? I guess not. I guess Link's Awakening is unique enough, right? It's not Breath of the Wild. It's not Link to the Past randomized. It's its own thing. So we'll see. Um, my RPG quota is still kind of filled at the moment. I want to probably not do another big RPG for a little while. And then we'll start thinking about uh, Mario and Luigi. So just kind of a, let's say, roadmap of the stuff I'd like to stream. And there's always surprises. I didn't know I'd be uh, streaming Slay the Spire, but that turned out to be one of my favorite games in the past like year, I'd say. So, uh, and I mean, listen, I started streaming it, what day? What was it? Um, Friday or Saturday? I think Friday was the day I streamed it for the first time. Today's, well, today was Monday and I have 14 hours that plus monster hunter and streaming. God help me. Good night. Oh, and before good night, twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce or vine sauce.com. Or you can just hang out here for the auto host and you will see a whole host of different streamers, including my mods and friends who you might enjoy. And, uh, you can find them all here or there or everywhere and check them out if you want to and good night.